Welcome everyone. This is the first part of lesson 3 about networks and mobile devices. On completion, you should be familiar with the benefits of networking and basic data network concepts. There are networks all around us, like transportation networks, cellular networks, data networks, cable television networks, and the telephone networks. At its very simplest definition, a network is a system for moving objects or information. In computing, a network is simply an arrangement of computers and other additional computing devices that are connected in such a way that they can communicate and share information. Individual networks can also be connected to other networks. And this practice is referred to as internetworking. A network can consist of two or three computers in a single room, while an internetwork can consist of millions of computers connected across the globe. A good example of that is the internet. Networks are in wide use today because they are practical and useful. They enable users to share many things, including files, resources like your printers, and internet connections. Multiple computers in your home or office can share an internet connection. Your smartphones, tablets, video game consoles, smart TVs all connect to the internet as well. All these devices can share in that single internet connection too. For this reason, even a single person living alone can benefit from creating a small home network that is connected to the internet. With a simple home network, you can stream audio and video to various devices, share stored media such as audio files or photographs among your devices, share and backup files, and play games online. Before getting too far into our networking discussion, you should have a clear understanding of the difference between streaming and downloading. When most people talk about downloading and streaming, they are usually talking about audio and video files accessed through sites like YouTube or Netflix, or songs and movies that they have purchased from an online store. Downloading is the process of copying a file from a server on the internet to your device. When you download a file, you can access it or play it anytime you like, even when you do not have an internet connection. Streaming is the process of having a file delivered to your device in a constant and steady stream. Streaming is like listening to a song on the radio. You can listen to it as soon as the stream starts. But once the song is over, the task is complete. The file is not copied to and stored on your device. That is, you cannot save stream content. Remember, streaming requires an internet connection. Let us move on to basic network technology. Networks transfer data in small units called packets. In our illustration, if we're going to send this picture over the internet, it will be converted into packets. These individual packets are sent across the network, and when they arrive at their destination, they are reassembled into their original form. The TCP IP is another thing that you need to know about network technology. The mechanism that controls the process of breaking down into packets, sending it across the network, and reassembling it when it reaches its destination is a networking protocol called Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol or also known as TCP IP. Don't let the word protocol intimidate you. A protocol is simply a set of rules that enable devices to communicate with one another in an agreed-upon manner. 
There are two basic types of networks relevant to our discussion, local area network and wide area network. A local area network, or LAN, is a private, local setup. Your home network or small office or school network is a LAN. LANs are private networks. LANs come in different sizes but are generally confined to one geographic location. Wide Area Network, or WAN, is a type of network that connects computers in multiple locations using communication lines owned by a public carrier, such as a phone company or internet service provider. Whenever LANs are connected to one another using the lines of a public carrier, a WAN is formed. The internet is the largest WAN in the world. It connects individuals and networks from around the world to one another using public communication lines. Remember, WANs are public networks. In order for the computers connected to a network to communicate with one another, each computer requires a unique address. This address is called an Internet Protocol Address, or IP address. Each computer on the local network and each computer on the Internet has an IP address that distinguishes it from all other computers on the network. A typical LAN IP address looks like this. On the Internet, each website has its own IP address which is associated with an easy-to-remember text address called a URL, or Uniform Resource Locator. For example, the URL yahoo.com is associated with the IP address 98.138.252.30. To find your computer's IP address, you need to go to the control panel. Click Start, then type Control Panel, then click Network and Internet, click Network and Sharing Center, and then under your Access Type, click the Connections. You will now see the dialog box of Wi-Fi status. Click Details, and then you will see there the IPv4 address. There are two versions of Internet Protocol, version 4 or IPv4 and version 6 or IPv6. IPv4 is used predominantly in North America and Europe while IPv6 is used in Asia and other countries. Because the number of available IPv4 addresses is rapidly running out, support for IPv6 is a requirement. IPv4 addresses are written in decimal form as a series of four decimal numbers separated by periods. IPv6 addresses are written in hexadecimal form as a series of eight hexadecimal numbers separated by columns. That's the end of part one. Hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe!